Hey, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, man? Um, Fruitful Exchange shit, it's your boy, man. You know what's up, man. Kid Slade. It's been a little minute, but um, I feel like I need to pull up and address mad shit. I'm not going to get into... um. I'm not going to be able to get into everything because I don't want this shit to be a 15 years long. Um, I want to make it sh as short and sweet as I can. But um, it's mad shit I want to address. First and foremost, heavy on the ops out on all streaming platforms. Go um, go run that up. If you ain't tapped in with that yet, please go listen to the album. Give your opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, But on another note, Oh yeah, Kid Slade and Forfeit Focus is right out right now on Gates of the Gardens. Go run that up too. I was wildin' all battle. That's that, that's another thing. All year I'm outside all year. So let, 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 let me get that out of the way. Um I got the project out, got a new battle out. I'm dropping freestyles and be more consistent with the people and um I'm outside all year, I'm going on a I'm calling it what the fuck you niggas thought or you niggas you niggas must have forgot to I'm outside reminding niggas what it is. Um But I kinda wanna address the state of battle rap cause shit is nasty. And um It's nasty for a bunch of reasons, but <clears throat> I'm a, I want battle rap as a whole and I'm not talking about fans but we, we can include them because you y'all are a part of the culture so we can include y'all y'all definitely are a part of the culture um but we gotta stop looking for who who niggas gonna point the finger at like niggas gotta stop that that has to stop niggas as the battle rap community, all of us, battle rappers, league owners, media, the bloggers, all that, um, fans, if you want, promoters, <sighs> we have to look in the mirror and realize that every one of us played a part in what we call our culture getting fucked up. Niggas that's in battle rap gotta stop looking for reasons to point the finger and looking for somebody else to put that shit on. Niggas gotta look in the mirror and just and deal with the real. Cause niggas, man, listen. Shit is how it is. It's on us, man. It's on us. And like I said, I said it a few times, and I don't even like to put claim on it. And I'm sure, I'm sure Rock don't like his name associated with it either. But um. After me and Rock situation, man, shit just got super duper ugly. It seemed like niggas just was like, you know what? Fuck it. Ain't no need to um to use my talent to do what I need to do. Nah. Ain't no need that that ain't necessary. They seen the attention that me and Rock situation got and just decided that that's what they was going to do to try and get that type of attention. Niggas fail to realize that that attention came because Tay Rock, who Tay Rock is. But they thought it would come because I was an up and coming nigga, but niggas didn't realize I really, niggas really see me as like that nigga. Like they was like, yo, this nigga next up right here. This nigga right here next up for real. So, yeah, it, it was some reasons that that shit went viral like that, but it was because Tay Rock did it. Niggas just after that, yo, I ain't even gonna front. Shit just got, it was already getting out of hand. Niggas doing a little bit too much extra shit. But that right there was just the icing on the cake. And then the fact that niggas was going so hard, it was like, yo, I know if I, if I get into some shit or I start some shit, they gonna cover it. I'm gonna get a blog about me every fucking day, every other day. And then the shit would easy happen. And it's just like, man. <sighs> Even before the shit with Easy happened, it just niggas was just dead set on getting lit off of corny shit. Niggas ain't even care about doing nothing like with they talent. I ain't gotta put up no ill battles, none of that. Um, as far as battle rappers go, niggas was getting lazy. Niggas was getting greedy. That money was getting niggas greedy. Niggas talking about they money. That's another thing that fucked up battle rap. But um, niggas getting greedy. Getting lazy, thinking they too good. Like, how many niggas, like, and don't even, 
just put yourself on a pedestal and say, man, they just wasn't getting it. They don't hear me. They don't understand it. Nah. How many of you niggas really just look in the mirror and check it out? Go back and look at your battles. A lot of niggas was putting up mad, lackluster ass battles. Dead ass. A lot of niggas was putting up weak performances. Bloggers and media, I know that y'all got to cover what's out there, but at some point you got to look in the mirror and say, you know what? Yeah, we're going to cover the bullshit, but like, let's, let's, we, we, we got some power here. We can change narratives. We can create them. We got some power here. Let's get together and get this shit back to battle rap. The next little bunch of bullshit that happened, let's not cover it. Let's not lock in on it. Let's just be like, man, I don't give a fuck about that. Just to show niggas that that ain't going to get you what you think is going to get you. Nope. Niggas was out here for pure clicks. And it showed. I understand niggas got a bottom line. I get that. But this shit just showed that niggas' bottom line is really what's important. Niggas don't got nothing besides that. And I und and I'm I'm I don't think as far as the platforms go with the views and the money off the views and shit, I don't think that that's niggas like bottom 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 line. Like that's that's paying niggas bills. Niggas don't got no income. No, nah, I doubt that. So I understand for the um for the sake of the podcast or the sake of the um pardon for the sake of the um platform or whatever. If you got a podcast, whatever you call it, your media platform, your cover, whatever you call it, for the sake of that, come on, man. It ain't that important. It's not. It's not. Y'all niggas really could have, like, came together and, and, and actually changed something. I know it ain't y'all job. Y'all niggas ain't supposed to come in and save niggas or save battle rappers. And I'm not asking y'all. I'm not saying y'all had to do that. But I'm just saying, like, y'all niggas should have did it. Real shit. I know your bottom line is there, but at the end of the day, you got morals. And if you really love the culture, which got your channels popping, because niggas is battle rap bloggers and battle rap lit. Yeah, niggas venture outside and do other things, but this is where it started at for niggas. Niggas don't got that love for this shit to do. Like, come on. You a compromise for something that you love. If you genuinely love this shit, niggas should have... Niggas should have... um, Niggas should have made some compromises and, and, and decided, yo, we not going... We not going to cover the bullshit. You know? Real shit, man. Niggas should have... Niggas, niggas, niggas should have did a little more on that side. As far as battle rappers go, niggas had to do better as a whole. Niggas had to do better as a whole. All the bullshit that niggas was trying to do, trying to take face-offs too far, trying to do mad extra shit. I understand some niggas in the culture is just like that. It always was like that. So it's kind of like weird to call a nigga, excuse me, to call a nigga out for being himself. And I'm going to use a, um, a demonstration. A nigga that's always been extra like that is Snake. So when, so like Snake, I, you can't really say like he was being extra. No, Snake was just being Snake. But a lot of you niggas started trying to be Snake. And that ain't you and ain't never been. Nigga seen he was getting snake lit. Now nah, everybody, yo, I'm telling you, when niggas started seeing that the negativity and the bullshit was getting them lit, go watch how the Caps interviews just started changing completely. Yo, I'm so fucking tired of it. Yo, the Caps interviews just start changing completely. Niggas was pulling up simply to try and say the most disrespectful shit in the go back and look at the caps interviews like when the when the caffeine first started niggas was on there it was like good battle rap shit of course the um the friction and shit is good pause the um the the friction and the the uh you know niggas turning it up a little so it, 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 it's good for battle rap but come on like niggas was doing two niggas like basically trying to get it to a fist fight before the bat. If you need that much to sell your battles, bro, maybe you should just sit back and start writing more and focusing on that. Don't worry about selling the battle. You're on the card. There's an event. You got a promoter. You got a league owner. You got other battles on the card. Let them niggas that's good at that do that. If you need that much to make niggas watch you, maybe you should just sit back and focus on your raps you want a car stay on the car and just 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 focus on your raps gangster 
Niggas was doing way too much. Then you got niggas that was doing so much that the focus was on just that. Y'all niggas is showing up with ass ass material. We putting out doo doo battles. And I'm saying we because we as a group, I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. If a nigga got a, a trash slave battle, pick it out, send it to me, and we can talk about it. But niggas was putting out ass battles. Real shit. Niggas got to take claim that I'm not saying no names, but niggas know who they was. Niggas was putting out trash battles. Bloggers was putting out trash shit. Fans was. It was a lot. We was having trash events. Crowds was being asked. Us as a culture, we got to just look in the mirror and be like, yo, you know what? A lot of us played a part in the culture getting fucked up like it is. I, I'm, I'm not with blaming the bloggers, but I, but the bloggers do have some blame. They not going to take all the blame, though. I can't give them all the blame. Battle rappers, we have some. If you got caught up in a scandal like I did, if you get caught up in some scandal shit like Easy did, you get caught up in some bullshit that gets you thrown into the spotlight or some fuck shit like the shit that happened with Piranha, all of that shit. If some shit that, that happened, like you see Snake with him and Bad News getting put into some shit. You see what he said, right? Yeah, nigga, I had a fight. Own it. Own it. You heard what I said, nigga. That's my life. I'm not ducking what happened. I'm not ducking that smoke. I'm not mad about that. I own it. Own your role in this. Like, it's yours. Take what's, like, take, take what's yours. Take claim for that. Niggas gotta stop looking up, looking to blame everybody else. Look in the mirror and, and really, yeah, I, I did that. A lot of niggas in them spaces, shit instigating nothing but bullshit. Sitting in spaces and on the internet and on shit, stirring up nothing but bullshit. If you're gonna go and do some extra shit, let it be at the actual face-off so the entertainment can be just that. When niggas is just wilding outside on spaces and talking crazy on tweets and doing, y'all niggas ain't doing nothing but brewing up some bullshit. If y'all got something to say, say it at the face off or something. All that extra shit is not necessary. Sometimes it can get super extra at the face off. We've seen that, but save it for the face off. Or just, just show up and rap. That works too. That works too. No matter what's said about you in the face-off, no matter what's said about you before the face-off, no matter what they think about you before or after that, no matter if they think you too quiet, no matter what people think, when it's time to rap, you gotta rap. I can tell you firsthand. Fuck what a nigga think. You ain't gotta go in there changing people's mind before you go in there. Go in there and get to it. Show up and go, go crazy. Show up and rap well. Real shit. Fans, y'all niggas is narrative riders. Y'all niggas, and we understand that you like who you like. You're going to do what you're going to do. But, like, there's nothing like having f you niggas, the fans, we appreciate y'all. But you corny ones, you niggas know who you is. The last thing niggas need is y'all trying to stir shit up and get, get in the mix. You, like, respectfully, you're not good enough to do what we do. Real shit, you can have an opinion about something, that's okay. But don't get in the mix of it. You're, you're not, respectfully, we're all human. But when you see us having some battle, don't. Y'all niggas gotta chill. Y'all do a lot too. As a culture, we need to relax. Everybody need to look in the mirror and see what it is. We need to act like this is actually something sacred and just stop letting anybody in who wanna come in. Anybody can get in the battle rap. All a nigga gotta do is walk up with something that somebody think they wanna hear or say in the battle or think is entertaining for an interview or think or get a buzz or something and they with it. Niggas ain't learned from letting this weird ass nigga come around and he was in there touching on bitches. We can't blame nobody for letting that weird nigga in that came in from all the Twitter space shit. We can't blame nobody but ourselves cause we let him in. Niggas will let anybody get music dropped on they on a shit. Yo, you media niggas, y'all platforms. I don't know if y'all understand how big those platforms. That's huge, bro. Them platforms are huge. Y'all gotta stop just letting niggas think you can't. 
if if Joe Button will let anybody drop music or do interviews and shit on his pot and just do whatever he wanted on it, he wouldn't be who he was. Same for Nori, same for Gilly and them, same for them people. It means something when Gilly play a nigga that you ain't never heard in the beginning of his podcast because it's hard to get on there. Y'all niggas got to actually treat yourself like you are an exclusive person. Your, your channel, your content, your brand is an exclusive brand. Anybody can't get a hold of it. You know how many people just reach out to me to book me and to try to get fit? I'm not just going to work with anybody and do anything. All money ain't good money. My exclusivity means something to me, so I try and hold on to it to an extent. You niggas need to start doing the same. Treat yourself like you're actually something and people will start doing the same. When you're ex as accessible as a DM and I can get close to you and do whatever, dog, that not me. You niggas need to start treating the exclusivity like it actually means something to y'all. Dead ass. I also see niggas saying that the at did it. Nah, nah, nah. Yo, I'm gonna be real, yo. And this going, of course, when I say this, it's gonna ruffle some feathers, but just continue to listen to me talk before you go crazy. The at is maybe the best thing to ever happen to battle rap ever but it's not being used the way that it should be used and now i know this could never happen i know we don't live in a uh this is not a disney movie it's not one of them i understand that but um what should be happening, dead ass? The URL app should be. It should, maybe it shouldn't be called the URL. Maybe it should be called something else. Maybe it don't even have to be the URL app. But I'm using that app because that's the only one that's around. That I'm, I'm using that one for the for the example. The URL app. That shit should be one stop shop for battle rap. Period. Period. I mean, we need a big kumbaya moment. I know you ever heard of you don't got to get along. You just got to work together. Y'all think every NBA owner for every team, NBA team owner, get along with the other one? Nah. Negative. Not at all. They do not get all of the NBA owners don't like each other. NFL, just like every league is like that. All the owners don't like each other but it's a competition and it's a friendly competition because we all go and eat check this out how many subscribers at rbe how many subscribers over at king of the dot how many subscribers over at url how many subscribers at i don't know what the league is called but sharon was over there it's like a filipino league they do billions of views over there just imagine all of these platforms up under one roof. At that point, with that many subscribers, we could bring the subscriptions down to what? Maybe $3.99 a month? $4.99? Now, just imagine all of those people paying. Can you imagine the bags that niggas can afford to give the battle rappers? I don't know how the money would go, but I'm almost positive it's a way to cut it up and do I don't know how that shit work, but I am pretty sure some lawyers, some teams, some people can sit down and figure this shit out. Do you understand how much fucking money would be coming through? Just imagine. Just imagine. All-Star Weekend on the app. All these leagues, just imagine. And then you got the little up-and-coming leagues that are like, yo, we, we we getting our brand up, and once the league is is growing and growing and it grows this brand, you graduate from YouTube. Because I want to I wanna ask niggas another thing. I want to ask niggas this. How many people have ever met somebody from YouTube like that? that's actually up top, handling the handle? We don't know them people, bro. Do niggas can 100% guarantee that niggas is getting 0 .00 cents on the penny for what the fuck is coming through YouTube for the shit that niggas generate? Generate. You ain't getting no real money. They giving niggas crumbs of crumbs. Come on, yo. What's wrong with 
treating URL like it's exclusive. Treating, sorry, treating battle rap like it's exclusive and having it at one hub. Boom, you gotta, everybody gotta come here for battle rap, period. Period. Or you can go watch the college games and the um G League games and shit on YouTube, cause that's how you that's how you see who coming up. But you need the league pass to see what's up. Do you just just think about how much money niggas can get paid per battle with all those subscriptions being paid every month worldwide? This is the shit battle rap needs. This is what battle rap needs. But I we I know like anybody else know it. Niggas ain't getting that kumbaya moment. That type of shit don't exist. It sounds... That shit sound amazing. It sound great, but... We know that type of shit don't exist. At all. Um, I really wish it could, though. And that's a friendly competition. When the ABA and the, it, when 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 the leagues formed, the money got, it got yo it it only makes sense. It only makes sense. Go watch how the mafia used to move around. If every family was off doing their own thing, it wouldn't have been able to make. They wouldn't have been able to do what they did: create the unions and take all the construction over in the cities and get the. They wouldn't have been able to do all of that. When you come together, it turn up. Do you know what will happen if that happens? This shit gonna turn up. I need a sponsorship. That's what happens when you do that. We turn into a league, a real league. Conglomerate, everything under one roof. Where the sponsorships and shit at? Real nigga. The fuck? That's what battle rap need. That's the big bag, right? That's where the money at. Just imagine how much niggas can be getting paid per battle. Real shit, niggas will be getting, with that system, niggas can be getting paid the most money they ever got in their life for doing one round band battles. Niggas will be doing five minute battles and get cut a check. The biggest check they ever got in battle rap in their life. A lot of niggas. With that type of money coming, that shit change everything. That's what battle rap needs. Never mind pointing the finger and trying to blame, look, looking for who the fuck we gonna blame to who fuck battle rap up. Let's just simply focus. 100%, let's focus on a way to fix this shit. Let's get back to fire events. Let's get back to fire battles. Bloggers, let's get back to covering fire content. Let's get back to y'all going out, finding new battle rappers on Little Leagues, bigging them up, talking shit, bringing them up on your platform, bringing up other battle rappers you think that they could go against. Let's get back to bringing dudes up from this league and from that league. Battle rappers, let's get back to talking about battle rap when they got us on these platforms. Let's get back to it. No matter how you feel about me, Exclude, like, no matter how you feel about me, you can't deny it. This is what we got to get to fixing it. Pointing the finger, enough of that shit, because ain't nothing going to get better if everybody keep blaming. Ain't, fuck all the finger pointing. Let's just look in the mirror, say what we did wrong, fix that, and get to a better place. Because real shit, niggas can't rap like us. You go watch anywhere where there are respectable rappers and respectable people that are fans of lyricism, hip hop, and rap, they're gonna tell you the best rappers in the fucking world are battle rappers. We are amazing. Do you see the way we perform these niggas? These rappers get on stage and have boring shows. How is your show boring when everybody in the building loves your songs and they're there singing every word of them and the show's boring? We rock the stage. Excuse me. We rock the stage and don't nobody know what we about to say. We, yo, we really the shit. This battle rap shit, battle rappers is really the shit, guy. Huh? We perform, we got crowd control, we captivating, we're lyrical as fuck. Creative is a motherfucker Direct as hell You kidding me? Some dudes don't even know how to make a song about do, Some dudes don't even know how to Put content into a verse And have a verse with content Nigga we craft three rounds about people That are standing in front of us We are amazing 
It's time to like get back to that and ex and showing that off. Fuck all this other shit, man. Word to everything. All the other shit, fuck all that other shit. Gangster. God damn, I'm running my mouth. I said I was going to get... My bad. My bad, man. But, um... Let's fix battle rap, man. It's your boy Kid Slade, man. The Fruitful Exchange Podcast. I'm about to turn this shit up this year. Everything is turning up. I know I said it before, but I got to stay on it. Life is real over here. Stay kicking my ass. I'm trying to get ahead of it. But, um... <laughs> We getting to it. Um, heavy on the ops on all DSPs. Go watch um, my videos. Head tap on YouTube right now. Heavy on the ops on YouTube right now. Can't complain on YouTube right now. Uh, Tall candles on YouTube right now. Got a couple freestyles out. Go check those out. Kid Slave verse forfeit focus on Gates of the Garden. That's just drop. Go check that out. Um, fucking. Twerk just went retarded on bars on 9-5. Go run that up. Rum Nitty did the same. Go run that up. Let's bloggers, let's I need y'all to start talking about those. Let's start talking about that and get some some traction built under that. Let's 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 get let's let's get some traction built under that. Um I see Twerk put the release date out, May 16th for the album. Looking forward to that. Um let's make battle rap great again, man. Real shit. Um, rest in peace, Big Chili. Rest in peace, KK. Rest in peace, my nigga Cool Q. Rest in peace to the 2 4. Shout out to my connect and rest in peace to the fiend that slept on my last pack. You heard me? Free my nigga Guap, man. Fruitful exchange, you already know. I'm out. Peace.